welcome to top trading edge uh, let's take a look at the market today 27th november sunday tomorrow monday let's take a look at the market see what market is doing so we are right very close to 200 and moving average right here you see that right here around 405 smb 500 very close to 405 all right but the pre-market right now market is down yeah, that's what it shows up but hey that's okay that's the part of uh, cycles market start so now we have to keep in two things in mind we have the month end right now okay this is a month and november right month and is happening plus the new book is going to rewrite again so they might do rebalancing a little bit plus new week options right options are also new week starting so that would be another attractive so they might load up more bears or bulls depends on what their, their agenda would be so they monday tuesday they might go and try different direction and then wednesday thursday maybe could be different direction so but again we are right now at the critical critical stage right here so well, now market is very close to 200 and moving average if they break through still the cycle bull cycle is on as you can see macd is also pointing north oscillator also still has a room to go upward so if, if the system try to break through the 200 day moving average then it triggers the system and we have major major sloping resistance right here also the 200 day moving average is right there so what i see based on these two month cycles here to here here to here same cycle from here to here we still have a couple of weeks to go to be a bullish that's what i can see so what does it mean that means either they can pull back right here somewhere right and then can still ping pong in between here and here this area for two weeks and then change the cycle to so this could be the last bull rally right here this could be the last bull rally of 2022 right and then we could slide down why because let's take a look at the weeks so right here wicks constantly selling off right now wicks is bottoming out right here around 20 dollar so as we can see last time wicks here spent about eight days and then we bounce sell off spend eight days and bounce so whenever the wicks goes down market goes down right wicks goes up market goes down right here so right now wicks is being go constantly going down market is bullish so right here eight days spent same thing this cycle also we spend about right here one two three four five six seven eight days around here also we spend some point of time we spend out here also so same thing could happen here also and that's why i think couple of weeks they might spend couple of weeks it could be here i i think they're gonna break this and they might spend some time out here okay two weeks i think still thinks but hey let the market decide market maker decides and then we'll go accordingly all right so over here we are very very critical stage so that's the reason i expect market to pull back and spend some time but if they break and go north absolutely then my uh, the whole machine will trigger and will start buying right <laughs> because that's what everybody is waiting actually so hey you never know but overall economical conditions is very very down if you take, take a look at it and you can you, you saw what happened right you know the black friday sale you can see that the consumer has a lot of money to spend on a <laughs> on a credit right so but hey that's not good that that means it's, it, it's um, uh, demand is rising right so demand rise then market has to control the inflation and i don't know how they still we are in the in the same boat but we don't want to get we don't want to get into too much into that side here right now but we right now what, what i'm noticing here is the pension fund guys 4.5 trillion dollar asset which i was not i did not mention much about it but this time i noticed something which is 4.5 trillion dollar pension fund they are vulnerable why because there's a lots of money being uh, you know invested into they used to invest in the bond market like you know treasury bonds and all but then this time normally these funds are invested into private sectors and not public publicly traded funds a lot of area where they have invested into so that could be another area to be keep in mind guys because this is <coughs> major area 4.5 5 trillion dollar this is just the us if i look at the overall worldwide is 20 or close to 24 trillion dollar assets guys 24 trillion dollars are are invulnerable they're in a big time in trouble okay 24 just like what happened right pension fund in uk what happened government has to come down and print out when that thing happens what would happen 
fed has to come out and print probably but not now guys this is just to give you one elephant in the room to move remember this and this is where i this is there are a lot of assets they are in big time troubles guys private because normally the pension fund if you invest into private fund they are very very risky right if you're in a public traded fund at least you can see what exactly going on and you can use more 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 visibilities are there at least but they want it if they traded into the private assets then they, that could be disaster so and i think we we all know that there are private sectors are very very vulnerable in this market right now uh, well so that's why you know we got to be aware this is i'm um, nobody's talking I, i'm just telling you right now this is interesting to watch all right and then right here today look at that this is not today has been going on but credit Suisse says the client have closed the account now people, <laughs> clients are closing accounts on a bank this is what the ceo is talking about right what happens this is very very bad situation right here so why because people are spending right now highest money on a credit that's very very bad because you know in a tightening environment people won't be able to pay their debt what would happen right so so we just need to keep that thing in mind see how how the things will unfold but other than that let's take a look at the oil that's the most important part what i was talking about let's take a look at the oil right now okay so us oil where did it go let me see whenever i want to find something i cannot find right here <laughs> otherwise i just type it in us oil Alrighty, so, so right here, US oil. Look at that. You remember, I said M pattern pattern. These are the crazy uh, support, and we I said that hey, I'm you know whenever the oil goes up, 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 recession. We always recession follow. Oil goes down, guys. Remember, I've been saying this because all lot of oil mafia they always pump and pump a lot on social media, and people are losing their shirts and pants because just because somebody they think they are champion, and people hold now look is all about the cycle somebody said, no i told you the whole for two years one year hey do you have a time the moment this oil goes down people account goes down and they get squeezed right that's why people lose money remember what i said about that's why i don't i don't i say whenever anything parabolic move that's it i'm done for it because any anything goes up um 200 up 150 up that's it that's the time to exit and look for another asset because as, there's a several flight you can catch different different asset you can catch right you need to find the bottom not the top to buy something right and look at what happening here to bring the inflation down they want the energy down and look at that oil is going down so next support is right here our target is i've been saying this quite a while right but hey that's fine that's the part of the life everybody has to choose they need to understand those who follow top trading gauge community guys we always give the heads up right here everything in advance i give so if you follow me on twitter on youtube i always go live right here top trading edge academy is a free academy you can join anytime morning 9 30 to 4 p.m plus i also make a video every day so if you want to follow me on youtube as well as on twitter same name top trading edge one word right here is so you follow you get all the alerts i always post market hours as well as and i'm live or every day live streaming so you can see everything all right let's take a look at the bitcoin no let's take a look at the gold before i go to the bitcoin so gold we got a rejection right we said that and right now market is going to compress between 1780 and 1700 these are the 80 dollar range market going to compress once we break the support that's where we need to watch for the 100 day moving average so that's the range gold is playing right now but we got a rejection i i already mentioned there's a rejection at 1800 all right let's take a look at the bitcoin bitcoin looking very very weak remember the resistance right here is constantly right there got a big rejection right there so bitcoin is in trouble and we all discussed earlier about the bitcoin is heading 11,000. Uh, but again the support is right here around 15,600. once we break that we could go lower that's the bitcoin look like okay uh, other than that let's take a look at the yield two-year yield is compressing right here around 4.44 yield is still on a driver's seat right now market is my i mean i may be fed is controlling a little bit that's why it's going down to 10 years also 20 years also yield all right so that's about it on this one and uh, we already mentioned about the wicks all right so most important part is let's take a look at the market and what i need to see here what i found here is 
for our charts. Let me show you something interesting. So you might like. Remember over here that from this point to this point is higher, right? In October, right? This bullish rally. Look at the MACD was going down. So we got a diversion, bearish diversion right there. Same thing happening here also. Still, we are in the process. Maybe we might need to do a couple of days and see what is unfold here. But there is a weakness right already here. But the MACD did not cross. If the MACD cross, we could go a little lower just like this because that's the divergence. So we need to see a little divergence. Let's see what it brings tomorrow. Okay. Other, so if we brown, bounce from the map signal line, we could go a little higher because still has a power to go. But the weakness is already, already started coming in, guys. Okay. Market has a weakness based on the MACD. Price action is still strong. Okay. Price action is strong. So it could have hold the price. Why? Because we have a still room to go up. We still have a price has a room to go up. But the weakness is coming in with this weakness it takes about a couple of weeks okay this is the couple of weeks early advance notice over here price action is a current action so but hey that's the little this is the four hour chart okay it's not daily chart that's why if you look at the daily we still look like bad, uh, bullish still you see that so still have a room to go all right little right here oscillator if you take a look at 10 we are not even touched the 10 we are right now close to six six and a half all right so, yeah, that's about it, guys. Let's see you tomorrow morning, 9.30. All right. Thank you. Bye.